Weather Maker, a Pacific cold front will be moving through first throughout the day tomorrow, followed by an area of low pressure, and that's going to bring some mixed precipitation initially with the warm air ahead of this front tomorrow. But once you get behind that front, well, that rain will change over to snow. So advancing ahead of this, a lot of cloud cover, a few spotty showers. But despite that, we did warm up into the 50s today. So here's some winter weather highlights to consider. Uh, there will be some wintry travel impacts from Butte to Helena and Butte to Missoula and in Missoula up towards Kalispell. Winter weather advisory started at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and go through midnight. And that's an area of concern because there could be some snow accumulations. But up around Glacier National Park, just a small part of Montana, there is a winter storm warning out uh, for tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon. No other winter weather highlights out for the rest of southwest Montana, but we're all going to see rain changing to snow, and that will complicate your Tuesday evening and Wednesday morning commutes. But first comes the cold front, then this area of pressure is going to drive through the region. It's not going to be raining and snowing all day tomorrow, tomorrow night into Wednesday, but enough off and on wet weather that, again, those wet roads could ice up because once the storm moves out of the way, there will be some cold air digging in behind it. Right now, we're sitting under somewhat cloudy skies in Butte at 46 degrees, maxed out at a very mild 53 today. 29 was the starting point this morning, and Bozeman also came in slightly above average on our highs and lows. Uh, warmer than normal today, 46 degrees right now, multi cloudy skies and very little in the way of wind. Currently, the numbers are holding into the 30s and 40s, but even out west, there's a good mix of 40s and 50s across uh, some western valleys and eastern uh, areas as well. So it's a mild evening, but overnight, we'll start to bring some increase in clouds with some scattered off and on wet weather by sunrise, but it's not going to be raining all the time. Again, it's going to be spotty in the morning, but look at those mild overnight temperatures. Tomorrow, if we get up into the 40s ahead of this front, it should be mainly a rain snow mix. But once you get behind the front, temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly, and that means snow levels could come down even to the lower valley floor tomorrow night. 30s and some 40s for the rest of us here this evening with off and on showers by tomorrow morning. And again, above 6,500 feet, the best chance for snow to accumulate. So there will be some concerns for some of our mountain passes, especially tomorrow evening and into the early morning hours on Wednesday. So as you look at the extended forecast, going from 44 on Tuesday down to 28 for high on Wednesday, and then trying to build up a little bit of warmth by the time we get into the end of the week. And by Saturday, Again, for the biggest college football game of the year, uh, we expect to see 44 degrees for high and mostly dry, although we could bring back some snow flurries this time next week. For Butte, a little rain and snow tomorrow that could change over to snow Tuesday evening into Wednesday. S starting to see a slight warm up by the end of the week and the weekend, but then cooling down again with another shot of snow on Monday. Dylan, it should be mostly rain tomorrow, but there could be some short duration periods of snow Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. It looks like a quiet weather pattern Thursday, Friday, Saturday, bringing back a chance for snow on Monday. And for West Yellowstone, mixed precipitation tomorrow, but that will change over to snow with some minor accumulations Tuesday evening into Wednesday. But look at those lows. They come back down in the single digits, highs only in the 30s. So a little bit of a change in the pattern, but drier by the end of the week heading into the weekend. A little snow possible on Sunday and into Monday. So this potentially could be actually a warmer Cat Grizz game than we've seen in recent years. This is usually the coldest game yeah. of the year, yeah. So yeah, this will be a nice change. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. All right, Dom Tibbetts in with sports right now. And speaking of the big game, you got a little preview. We're going to be talking about it all week, Kevin. Cat Grizz are going to go through our first phase of coverage next in sports.